What's up, Panting Squad? What's up, Panting Gang? It's your girl, Melinda, and I got Dawn Boy, Dawn, here. what up, Panting Gang? So, you guys, we just came back from the grocery store, and you guys, y'all already know what time it is. So, you guys, we have been telling y'all for the last few months about this app called Fetch. If you guys don't know what Fetch is, like, how y'all don't know what Fetch is? We talk about it so much. But, you guys, Fetch is a free app that's available on your phone, and it lets you get points, and you can redeem the points for rewards. So, basically, it's a free app. And the rewards you can actually turn into gift cards, man, and use it on Amazon. You can use it at any retail retailers. Guys, this, you can scan anything that you buy. So if you, for instance, if you go to a food store and you buy some food, you can scan it. If you go shopping for some clothes, like holiday store, anywhere like that, you can scan the receipt and get points for this type of stuff. Man. Yeah, you guys. So you can scan your e-receipts. Um, you can link it to your Amazon account. You could literally scan any little receipt you have, um, even at like the mall, like last time we shopped at Hollister and we was able to redeem our points. So basically when you redeem your points, you could get like cool gifts. Um, there's so many gifts to choose from. I really like Amazon because that's like my favorite store. Yeah, I'm constantly buying from Amazon. So you guys, we just left the grocery store we and got, you guys, some. you know we've been having a challenge going on. We're gonna see who has the most points. So you guys, the reason we love this app is because it's so easy to use. Um, it literally takes a couple of seconds, seconds to, to scan your receipt and, and see how much points you want. It's a few seconds, man. Yeah, it's real fast, it's real convenient. So babe, you have your receipt? Yeah, so I have my, so we have these receipts right here. So I've been yeah. doing some shopping, babe, because last time, if y'all watched it last time, she was winning, right? So I got to come back, man. I can't let her win. All right, you guys. So Bay is about to scan his receipt, and we're going to see who has the most points. You guys, it's always me. I always end up having more all points right. than him. So with that being <laughs> said, I'm about to rack up so, some points. So all you do is go to the app, hit the camera, and then your camera photo should be popped up take a picture of it and then all the greens should check out so let's see let's see let's see so all the greens checked out store total date hit submit you see this uploading yay 173 points you guys that's what i got for my for my rewards and look i'm at 7100 all right, you guys, let's do me. Bay is about to do my receipt, and we're gonna see who has the most points. It's always me, like I said, you guys. So guys, she this has a, a long, long receipt. receipt. So y'all probably like, how does that work then? So this is all you gotta do, guys. Let's start at the top. <laughs> and all you do is this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, take a picture. And then you just come down and you take the rest of the picture at the bottom. And now you got all your greens checked. Let's hit submit. And let's see what she got. It's loading up. You see it's uploading. 25 points, ah, I got more points than you. The so first time ever. But let's see your, t what the, she got 80. She has 8, <laughs> I got some more shopping to do. Also, there's the e-receipt feature, you guys. So I have like my Amazon linked in here, and I'm gonna show you guys how I could also get points from when I shop online 
because I have like the e-receipt feature. So that's what you're seeing on the screen right now. So you guys, just from my Amazon, I told y'all I use Amazon so much. I got 725 points. So you girl be getting her points. I'm about to go redeem my points on Amazon because that's my favorite place to shop. Now, we want you guys to continue to challenge each other, challenge your friends, your families. See? Out of everybody around you, who could get the most points? Make sure y'all download Fesh. The link will be in the description box. And you guys, when y'all download it, use the code PANTONS, all capital, to get 3,000 points when you first download the app. So make sure y'all download it and use the code PANTONS, all capital, so you can start getting points. 3,000 points, you guys. Once so, you first scan, you get your 3,000 yes, points. Yes, your first scan, you're going to get your 3,000 points. So you guys, we'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Peace. Anyways, you guys, it's your boy Don Mary Chick. They got a new little blog on the way, you guys. So y'all make sure y'all like this video. But let me let y'all see the litness behind me, man. Let me introduce y'all who we got over here. Boy DJ. And boy DJ, the queen. Girl Melinda. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. The princess who we got right here. My boy Louie and Snowy, she hanging out over there. But we got my boy Bri Bri in the belly. Yes, sir. Hey Bryson, what up boy? Can't wait to see you boy. Hey boy, don't be farting on my baby bro. Hey man. Anyways you guys, man, we about to start this lit vlog, man. Y'all gonna tune in. So y'all like this video like I said. Subscribe to the family, man. If y'all not subscribed, please comment down below. Let me know what y'all be doing, cause I need to know. If y'all ain't subscribed, what do y'all be doing? What y'all think they be doing? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Abs absolutely nothing, you right. everything, bro. But anyways, babe, you wanna tell them why they clicked on this video right now? All right, you guys, by the title of the video, y'all already know what's going down. So you guys, we're doing our family night routine. And you guys, this video has been highly requested. We've been doing YouTube for like four and a half years. Snowy, Louie, can I talk, really? So we've been doing YouTube for like four and a half years, and we never did a night routine or a morning routine on our channel. This is gonna be our first time doing a night routine. You guys requested it, so we're giving it to you guys. They requested this? So you guys are basically just gonna see how we get ready right. for bed. Right. Why, what, why y'all want to see what we do? We really don't. I don't know. What do we be doing? We be chilling. We be vibing. We be dancing. We be singing. We so y'all be, be doing that. And this big head boy be doing all this type of stuff. Fighting the air and stuff. Be careful, boy, before you knock that over. Hey, calm down, calm down, baby. All right, so he be doing that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? I be doing all the lit stuff. I be pranking him at nighttime. I be scaring Yaya through the house. Don't I be scaring you, girly? She be, I'll, I'll text Yaya, come downstairs, right? I'll be like, come downstairs. I'll be hiding, like, right here. And she'll come down, and I'll be like, boo, hey! And she be, ah! <laughs> Don't hold, on, hold on, one second, you guys. What, what, what is he doing? They knocked herself out. <laughs> DJ, you know, boy, yeah. this, this boy really hey. had an hey. invisible hey. fight hey. battle. How many hands fingers I got? DJ, you got knocked out by yourself? <laughs> DJ, he... <laughs> DJ, stop! Y'all, do y'all kids do this weird stuff? This is what they be doing here, man. This is what goes on at the Panthers squad. You know, that's what happens. So you guys, we're gonna um show you guys what we do yeah, at night time. No um, so the first thing we do, cause you guys, it's kind of, what time is it, like seven? So the first thing we do is we take the dogs on a walk. So we're gonna take Lulu and Snowy. Oh, Lulu, that's a girl name, baby. Don't call my girl Lulu. Yeah, I always say Lulu. Come you never heard me say that? Yeah, we can walk. Yeah, you never heard me call Louie Lulu? Yeah, I always gave her Lulu. Look at Josh. Yeah. I gave Louie Papa Bear and Snowy oh. Polar Bear. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be calling them Papa. I call every boy a Papa Bear. So yeah, you guys, that's what we about to do. I so, can't believe this is really our first time doing one though. Yeah, I can't believe this is our first time doing. <laughs> Why you be trying to stomach bump me? <laughs> I hope y'all watched the name reveal, man, because it was an epic video, you know what I'm saying? We got our son's name out there now. Now let y'all know. Okay, right. One, two, three. Bryson King I'm so happy, man. I, I get to say his name. Bryson, 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 Bryson! Bring your nappy head down them stairs right now. You're in trouble. Oh. Yes, sir. Hey. I'm just 
scared. That's that scared. That's scared. Yeah, I had to go put on skates. Really? She oh, just had to. She cakes. She makes eggs and skates. She cooks. She cooks and skates. skates. All right, she you guys. Shower and skates. No, I don't. All right, you guys. So we're gonna get ready. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So we're outside walking the dogs. It's nice, beautiful outside. DJ's riding the bike. You know what I'm saying? This, wait, boy, if you run over Louis, he almost ran Louis over on the bike, man. So anyways, this is what's going on. See a few people helping the neighbors out, man. This neighborhood is pretty cool, man. I love this neighborhood, man. Everybody's nice. It's quiet and peaceful, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what you ask for in your neighbors, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what you doing? You going in people mailboxes? Uh, oh, no. This is our mail. Anyways, no, nah, I'm just playing. I know that was, she grabbed our mail, but this is just one of the things we do, man. Y'all comment down below. Do y'all walk y'all dogs as families in the evening time after school? Hey, did you have homework? No. You sure? Yeah. I actually already did my homework. In okay. School. These dogs love the outside, man. Oh, oh, she got some business going on. All right, you can't see that. Did you get the paper? Oh, we got our other neighbors walking too. Everybody be walking their dogs around the same time over here. That's pretty cool. That, I don't know how we do it, but. We got here, Dad. Oh, I got one. So guys, and then most of the times we'll come over here. Ooh, DJ, you all right? Uh-oh. DJ, are you okay? Yeah, all right, big boy? All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. You gotta be tough, you gotta be tough. All right, let me see. You can walk that off, let me see. Ooh, wee, that's a little, that's, a, oh, that's gonna leave a mark there. And it's the car coming. All right, let's get your bike. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, man. It's our neighbor. Hey, how you doing, man? You all right, big boy? All right, so DJ, yes. you gotta be tough, man, all right? Let me see. You G, right? Give me five, you G. It's, that ain't nothing, right? That's a little boo-boo, right? You know when the little babies get a little boo-boo on their knee, they just get up and they keep crawling, you know what I'm saying? So you just walk it off, all right? DJ tough, man. He got that. He got that. You still gonna ride? Yeah. Yes, sir. That's what I'm saying. See, that's what I'm saying. You got two stat and Bryce tonight. Girlie, where you going? Wait, wait, oh. I can't ride in the grass. No, right over there. All right, so what I was saying before DJ got in an accident, we like to come over here and see the sunset over there. I can't walk y'all back there, but you know what I'm saying? It's a nice sunset back there. It's a good view. But anyways, we're about to bring these doggies back in. They did their business and we're gonna continue our business with y'all. Let's go. All right, pants and gang. So Don, Yaya, and DJ, they went and walked the dogs their back. We're gonna eat dinner. That's usually what we do. You did not scare me. So you guys, um, I didn't cook dinner because I wasn't feeling good, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. You girl you was tired, me? but I ended up ordering our favorite Jamaican food. Hey. Huh? Oh. Oh. Yes. oh. This came in the mail. Oh, we got a walker. This came in the Oh, you guys, so we're always getting baby stuff in the mail uh, from our friends and family and even you guys. I don't know who sent us this, but shout out to whoever sent Babe, was there a name? No, this, it came like this. It, it wasn't in the box. It don't say like who it's from? No. Oh, thank you. you. Got whoever got us this, maybe. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check to see if I can. I'm gonna check and see. Whoever, whoever sent that, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Love you guys so much. And we got this. What's that? Is that not this is? What is that? This is the, the guy sending me samples to wrap my car. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Nobody cares. Anyways, you guys, so like I said, I didn't cook. We ordered from our favorite Jamaican restaurant. This is the fried chicken for all of us. Don got brown stew. So you guys, that's usually what we do. We're gonna eat dinner. So I'm gonna warm up my food and then we'll be right back. All right, pants again. So we're sitting down, we're having dinner. Be careful. So yeah, as a family, I got strawberry lemonade. And you guys, every time I drink anything with lemonade stuff, citrus, orange, anything, I get really bad heartburn. But I don't be learning my lesson. I don't know. Dia, what are you drinking? Ginger ale with ice. What you drinking, man? I got cranberry juice mixed with uh, lemonade. This girl got a fruit box. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you have your FSA. Um, uh, we got to say our grateful prayer. God is great. Let us thank you for this food. In Jesus' amen. name, amen. Next Thursday? Um, no, I mean next Tuesday. And it's yours. I think April 26th. Yeah, I got a study for that. So you guys, no, the kids, we time. usually just eat dinner. We just talk about uh, it. Oh, you okay? What was that? That was Louie. You, you okay? Reading? So you guys, we um, just have dinner and we talk about our day and stuff. So guys, the kids are having their FSA next week. And parents, comment down below. Do you think that it's fair that 
kids should still have to take these tests even though they haven't been in school. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really think it's fair. Because but they're making everyone? Yeah, they're making um, everybody take it. Everyone? Just the third graders? Or everyone the whole school? No, you My start taking it in third grade. So DJ's gonna take it this year. Yeah. Everyone then, has to come back for school. Yeah, and then you, they have to go. When is it? At April 26th. Yeah, Yaya's is next week. So yeah, you guys, we're just gonna eat dinner. Oh, babe, tell them what you were saying about Wildin' Out now. Oh yeah, so one of our favorite shows, which is Wildin' Out, was canceled last year, but it comes back out tonight. So I was just telling the kids, you can watch that tonight, later on when it comes. I think it started at eight. I don't care if I miss school too late. I don't um, you're not missing school. You're not school. missing school. Ah. Tell me you don't care. You what? should care. Oh, mom, let me tell you something about our school. So today we're at lunch and there's two people in my class. We sit on the stage though. So there's two people right behind me. And then that's when they just got their food and just started throwing it at everyone. So that it started to become um, a food fight. A food fight? Yeah. No. Food fight! Don't stop. stop. I don't want to do a food fight. Did they get in trouble? <laughs> mm -hmm. And then Who won though? Yeah, really? Probably, I think our class either- Did you throw anything, DJ? No. Lie. Mm -hmm. I'm not in. But- I would have been like, food fight. What happened? What's going on? Cause you're a bad kid. <laughs> All right, Pinson gang. So we just gonna eat our dinner and just talk as a family. Just see how everybody's doing and so. So um, we'll talk to y'all a little bit. Peace. All right, gang, gang. So we're done eating. We we'll go upstairs with the kids. They gonna show y'all what they do without Snowy going upstairs. Put Snowy down, girl. Snowy. Yeah, no, Put Snowy down. See, she ain't gonna follow you. All right, let's go. Come on. All right, so we're gonna go to DJ's room first. He's gonna show y'all what he be doing. Yeah, so what I've done Yeah, y'all let us know what y'all be doing too. Louis wants to come, cause I'm coming up here, you know what I'm saying? He my guard dog, he gotta go check around the corner. Right, so oh, y'all can't go in the room yet? No, y'all can't go in yet. Uh-uh, this is off the limits. Who is in the room? I don't show them that. Come on, boy. All right, so look, what I do when I'm done eating, I go in my room, of course, and- Is your room clean? Yeah. Oh, it's smelling good in here. And then, I get my tooth, where's my, I get my toothbrush, of course. I oh, brush I my can't, teeth. DJ, boy, I can't even mm -hmm. get in here. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta fix your rug, boy. Rug. All right, I'm in. I don't know my toothpaste in it. Your toothpaste? Yeah, I had it this morning. DJ, how are you, her? Really? Oh, she can't. That's insane, but I had it this morning. DJ, why you, who puts the toothpaste in that drawer anyways? I don't know. I don't know, but anyways, brush your teeth, big boy. Just make sure you do it right. Man, that's a whole bunch of toothpaste on there. Oh uh, yeah, you gotta make sure you wet it again. You gotta wet the toothpaste, the toothbrush first, put the toothpaste on, and then wet it again. That's the perfect way to do it. All right, big boy. Go ahead and scrub, scrub, scrub. Get the fat tooth. Get all that there, boy. Uh-huh. There you go, there you go, okay. Get them two snag of tooth in the front too. Make sure you, you get those. There you go, yes sir. Yeah, brush a little faster than that, boy. All right, then scrub that tongue. <laughs> get the back of that tongue too, DJ. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go check on Yaya. You gotta make sure you wash your face too, all right? Okay. So let's see what Yaya got going on. Girly? Not not you brush your teeth. Let me see. How you do it with it? Let me see. Brush your teeth. Wait. It don't hurt? No. I don't feel like anything's on your teeth. Oh, okay. I never had braces. I don't want to see. Do you, you got to get your tongue too, girlie. I know. Did you wash your face yet? Uh-uh. And you got so much product in it. How many soap things do you need? No, I'm actually taking, these are empty. I just don't know who to put them on. What? I don't you don't know who to put them, they put, no, I mean, they I don't get know put who, in the trash. No, I'm saying like, I don't know who to like, put it on my thing, because I remember I had it on the floor because I was going to bring it down. Yeah, but you got all this, this is shampoo. That goes in the bathtub. Those are face wash. Face wash. This is face, this is empty too. Yeah. All this, oh, this is not empty. All right, so you go ahead, wash your face. Let me check on DJ, see what DJ got going on. DJ! Okay, it's DJ washing his face. 
Oh, you gotta use this too. Damn, this is brand new, boy, did you? There you go, let's open that up. All right, so DJ's taking care of himself. Good job, big boy. And what you do after this? <laughs> what? Are you singing? No. What, what did you say? I didn't hear you. I said let me get all of the water off my face. Oh, use the rag too. Get in between your eyes. Get all them little boogers out your eyes and stuff. All right, so I ain't gonna keep letting y'all see all that. But DJ, so you about to play your Fortnite stuff? Yeah, well, I can't play Fortnite. Oh, yeah, 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 we did ban you from Fortnite. DJ is banned from Fortnite. Yeah, so um, what I play now, I either play Rocket League, a Naruto game, and that's it. So right now, every time I'm done eating dinner and washing my face and brushing my teeth, I hop on my PS5. You play your game? And guys, we had like from his party, We've been at it this year. I don't know if y'all ever seen it in yeah, any of our vlogs. Like that. But this yeah. Day after my, my party. Yeah, he yeah, has so the Roblox thing. Games that I play, game. I've never heard about this game, bro. It's... But so we we might do a theme for DJ's room in the near future. I don't know yet. But we don't know. Maybe Roblox. I don't know what he would want for his room. But Yaya, you done? Hey, girl, you still brushing your teeth? Uh huh. What? How? <laughs> You need a timer, bro. How long you been doing this? It's because I got, I had to get all the food under my braces. Oh, okay, yeah, you, I got you, I got you. All right, now you got, what kind of soap is this? Black African soap. Oh yeah, this is what we be using, but mine don't look like this. Where you get that from? Mom got it for me. Mom got that for you? Yeah, but that's, I have to get my face pads. Excuse me. Okay, now we're gonna use this face wash. And then we use this one. So you two. So please. Six and a half hours later. Why do I look so My hair's gonna wet. Three weeks later. One eternity later. Alright, we'll do that early. All right, so we're gonna show y'all how me and Bae do it. Yeah, I got some new sheets, girl. Do you like your new sheets? Yeah. She got some heart sheets. You got, um. oh, you said you don't have homework, but you got your laptop up here. Is that supposed to be up here? What? Your laptop. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, I'm about to check in with me and Bae downstairs. We're gonna let y'all see how we get ready for nighttime, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. All right, Panting Gang. So, I just been laying down in the bed. Usually, when I'm done eating, I brush my teeth and stuff. And I just come to my side of the bed, you guys. Y'all see my pillow? So, you guys, Bay is pumping up this, like, pregnancy ball for me. It's supposed to be, like, an exercise thing. So, you guys, whew, I can't lay on my back. The last time I went to the doctor's office, be so out of breath. I hate it. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, so the last time I went to the doctor, my doctor weighed me. You guys, I'm 190 something pounds. I gained so much weight. With Yaya and DJ, I didn't gain all this weight. My doctor was worried about me. She was thinking, like I had to do a lot of tests, you guys. Everything came back good, but one of her if things was, she wanted to make sure I didn't have gestational diabetes. And she was just concerned about my weight gain because I've been gaining a lot of weight like really fast. I gained almost 40 pounds and I still got weeks left, like a lot of weeks left. So you guys, can y'all stop? Come here, Louie. Stop fighting. So she's been telling me to like exercise, watch how I eat. She wants me to walk more, eat smaller portions, drink a lot of water. She was telling me to watch my salt and sugar intake. You guys, I love salt. I didn't realize it, but I eat a lot of salty stuff. And I think that might be a reason why I've been gaining a lot of weight. So I, I laid low off the, stop, the salt. I didn't completely stop, but I laid low. And I've just been trying to eat less and I've I've been trying to like walk more, but they got me this exercise pregnancy ball. He's blowing it up for me. Today's gonna be the first night that I actually use it. So that's gonna be my new night routine. So every night after I go like on my long walks, I'm gonna do my exercise machine. So all my pregnant mamas out there, or like if you had a baby, what was y'all like typical weight gain during your whole pregnancy? Cause my doctor, she was like kind of worried and she, she was checking 
checking for a lot of things. She didn't want me to end up having preeclampsia. And another thing I was worried about is, I don't know if this is an issue or if it might be an issue, but I only have one fallopian tube because last year when I had the atopic pregnancy, I lost a baby. I had to have my fallopian tube removed. I only have one tube now. So I don't know if that could cause an issue with my pregnancy. I'm just so scared of like going into labor early. I be having contractions. They're not really contractions, they're Braxton Hicks, but sometimes the Braxton Hicks, they feel like real contractions. But sometimes I be like so scared. I be like, wow, I hope. I don't have like preterm labor like or any issues. And I just be thinking like, would me losing one of my tubes cause any complications? But anyways, you guys, so yeah, that's just been a little update what happened at the doctor. So I'm just waiting for Bay to blow up the wall. So I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. All right, you guys, so Bay blew it up for me. Thank you, Papa. Mom, go for it, go for it, I'm more. Go out the door. Go out the door. Go out the door. Go out the door. What are you supposed to do, bounce on it? Like a... Yeah. What is, how is that gonna teach you? Okay, it's supposed to be like a. You got it? What does that do though? It's like an exercise. That's an exercise? I don't know. Yeah, it's What are you exercising? I don't know. I like it. Y'all, let us know if y'all used this before. Y'all never heard about this? I never heard about that. I, I have seen it in like the movies. Then did they have that in one of the movies we watched recently? Remember that uh, documentary? I don't know. When they was the guy, the guy kept messing with pregnant women, and he was he was at one of her class. The show we watched, babe. What's the show we all? She wanted me to get off so bad just so she could ride it. That's not a toy. Babe, what's the show we watched? Shameless, shameless. Remember on the eighth season or seventh season, the guy was only messing with a pregnant woman. But anyway, Jaya, girl, what is you doing? I, I don't even know how you're supposed to. You, wait, there's a booklet on it, how, what you're supposed to do. Oh, girly, get the box in the, that little shoe closet room right there. There's pictures in, on the back of it. Babe, you're supposed to be on it. What, what you doing? You taking a break already? I'm gonna do it. The kids should. All right, do that. Let's play some kickball. We'll play Roll Me the Ball. Let me kick it. Look at the pictures. So here's the box right here, y'all. So this is what you ask supposed to Babe, you're supposed to be laying on your back. Different ways. So look, you can lay on your back. Okay, you could do the labor. You just supposed to sit on it. And then you got the postpart postpartum. Oh, this is after you have your baby. Oh, this is when you're laboring. What you have to do? What they doing? All right, y'all gonna hurt yourself. Be careful. Be careful. It be crazy here at night time, bro. It be crazy, DJ. All right, let me try, let me get on it. Okay, here, I got it. So the way you're supposed to do it, watch out. Oh, Y'all, I can't never have nothing. <laughs> they done took my ball. No, you're supposed to lay on it like this, like so, and then do your right. I can't right. lay on my back though, but it, it be so hard for me. I think it releases pressure. It be so hard for me. Can I get my ball back? Ah. Roll it. I, I want to use it. I'll do it this way. No, roll it towards me. Ah. Good, it towards Good job, Louis. Bite her again. Oh my gosh, you guys. Come on. Go back there. Ah. Oh, ball. Pitch it to me. Okay, I'm sorry. Really? Okay. So this y'all ball then. What the point? Let me kick the ball. Ah. Don't hit me. Roll it to me. If y'all break anything in here. No, roll it to me. Oh, you guys. Mom, you did, did you? Done. Second pace. Third pace. Ball back. Nothing. First base. Go. Go. Just hit him. 
Yeah, she, she. Don't break it. All right. <laughs> Volleyball. Spike. Not in the play. I know. Oh, we got look at all this stuff in here. You can break all this stuff. All right, pants again. So we're about to have our quick little Bible study. Bay is doing his foot massage. I'm laying down because I'm out of breath. <laughs> Once Bay is done, I'm gonna do my. No, we're on job six. No, seven. No, because six. I just went on this and job five. Oh, so probably, I'm on six. Okay, so we're gonna start on Joe. But can y'all tell him what y'all learned about Joe so far? Oh, so the devil, he wanted to see like if God would, God basically took everything away from him and see if he would like stop believing in him. If he would lose faith. Yeah. And um, with the devil and God, he, so he could see the future, of course. So he didn't mind and he said yes. And he did it and he still did not with him. Yeah. What were some of the things Job lost? He lost his animals, his kids, um, um, his family. Uh, he lost like mostly everything. Yeah. And then what did y'all remember what his wife told him? Oh, oh to stop believing in God because yeah, she, she said something about that. She was like, um, cursed the day you was born. She was basically telling him to just kill himself. Yeah. So you guys, yeah, we've been trying to like teach the kids a lot in the Bible. We we just got to Job like not too long ago, but that's one of Bay's favorite subjects. So yeah, you guys, I really love Job too. He's one of my favorites in the Bible. Job was a God-fearing man. He went through so much and he still didn't lose faith in God, even though he lost everything. He never, when he had times to blame God and stuff, he never did that. Like God gave him everything. He was a rich man. He had a perfect family. He had his kid, his kids. He had food. He had land. He had oxen. He had oxen, farms. and he lost all that in in the blink of an eye. And he still like followed God. Like it was just like he loved God so much that no matter what he went through, he was always gonna serve God. And like that's what like make me like really like him. Like he's one of my favorite in the Bible. Him and King David. I just love like how he just always follow God, even when his wife was saying to curse God and just die. Wait, did he break up with her? We didn't get to that part yet, so I don't want to tell him. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna keep reading. All right, you guys, so we're gonna um, finish up our Bible study. Like I said, Bay is doing his foot massage. I'm laying down in a little bit. I'm gonna do our foot massage, and then we're gonna watch Wild and Out. So we'll be back in a little bit. Don't respond. All that my grief were actually wait with wait. All of it were lift up in still. For now it's heavenly than the sand of the sea. Therefore my words are rash. The almighty arrows are in me. My spirits drink their poison, and God tears in array against me. So why would God give him to do that to so, Panton Scott, I wanted to record this real quick. So basically, the devil knew that Job loved the God, loved God. He knew that he feared God, and when he saw God, he was like, "Oh, the only reason Job loves you is because you provided him with so much stuff. You gave him all these riches. But I bet if he didn't have all this stuff, he would curse you." So God gave him permission. God said, "You could do whatever you want to Job. Just don't." strike your hand on him so he was basically allowing the devil could do whatever he just couldn't kill job so babe what did he end up doing to job so right now we're job seven he has his flesh covered with worms first of earth his skin is hardened he has boils on his skin so dj was asking a question go ahead i saw god gave him powers but if he gave him powers and he killed um his kids and the animals, he won't like have powers um able to kill him because like mm -hmm. then, no, cause remember guys so told him. Him. <laughs> yeah, God. yeah he wanted to test his faith yeah because remember I know but I understand like because well you you finished it right the whole joke yeah yeah I did finish it I don't want to answer the future stuff I, I know but it's just like because. <laughs> 
If he could kill Dan, and he could probably he could kill John. He can't do yeah, it he without can't. God to say yeah. so. Like remember, remember before this all happened, God asked the devil. The devil came to the meeting, and God asked him, "Where have you come from?" He was like, "From from the earth, back and forth, living who I made devour." He, he said, "Have you considered my servant?" Joe, and he was like, "Well, his house is protected. He got angels around his house. He has a perfect life. What can I do to him?" And he was like, "I'll let you do something to him." And he basically let him. He get, did a deal with him and said, "You can do what you want, but you can't. Yeah, you can't kill him. You don't know that." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got. It. Every time, every time we do Bible study, DJ has so much questions. I just wanted to let you guys in a little bit on our little Bible studies that we do. I know some of you guys asked us about it, and y'all said we should vlog some of it. So this is what we do at night. After this, we're gonna watch TV. The kids gotta get ready for bed because they got school. So we'll talk to y'all a little bit. Hi, right, you guys. So we was watching Wild and Out. Yaya is getting lit and crunk. She's still on this ball. Right. Babe, how you think the show was? Yeah, it was fun. I liked it. it was so you got the I crack? Was, I always love all the time now, man. Yeah, was, did you yeah, fall? Man, know they can't. Hey, oh, y'all be careful. Oh my gosh. If y'all know Nick Cannon, man, y'all get us on the show, man. Tell them, get Panther Squad on the Wild and Out show. No, I'm saying, let us turn Yeah, yeah, if we, <laughs> but you really want to go? Yeah. Yeah, if we go on Wild and Out, how you going to dance? <laughs> Wait, kids are, we're going to Wild and Out. Wait, do that again? What you would do? Girl, no. <laughs> I dance better than you, yeah. No, mom, this is what you no. do. No, this is what she did. What what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you yeah, let, let me show y'all what I do. That's not it. Man, hold the camera. Let me show Ooh, let me show how to roll. I'm rolling you. Alright, you guys. This girl thinks she can dance better than me. What she said I do? <laughs> That's not what she no. does. That's what she did. So I I start off. My dance. She's stepping on roaches. Yeah, go ahead. You stepping on roaches. Step roaches. Babe, let me tell you how Yaya is a hater. She acting like she don't like my dancing, but she asks me how I do it. She's like, Mom, how you do that? And then I go like this. But I got other moves. You gotta be getting it. <laughs> yeah, let me know. All right, can you do it? Let me see you do the flops, babe. The flops? What's up? Is that this? <laughs> Bro, you look like you stuck. What's the flaws? I'm coming down. Yeah. What's the flaws? Show me. Show me the flaws. You know how to do remember. it. I remember how to do it. Oh, this? Oh, my God, I'm out of breath. You tired? Why are you taking this in so long? I don't know how to do it. All right, do the um, shoot, DJ. Okay. Those dances are so old. Oh, 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 oh. No, shoot. You're supposed to go like this. Shoot. You don't, shoot. Have, you don't have to do this. Yeah, you do. You can put your hands up or down. <laughs> Alright you guys, I need to order dress. I'm tired. I'm out of breath. Oh uh, yeah, so we about to uh, wrap this thing up, man. Like after that we we send the kids to their bed. Yeah, well, we we can go over there with them. Oh yeah, let's tuck them in. We gotta tuck them in and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna tuck them in and I'm gonna really get ready for bed. But you guys, this is basically our night routine. This is what we do. We spend time together as a family. Oh we <laughs> we eat, we talk, watch TV, and we go to bed. But you got anything else to say? No, nah, let's go. let's go tuck them in. Yeah, so you guys, so we're gonna go put these little right, kids night. to I'm sleep. Good night. Oh, really? <laughs> so, babe, go ahead and close it out. All right, guys. So, thank you guys for tuning in, man. Thank you for watching our video, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, if y'all not subscribed, what have y'all been doing? Anyways, hit that subscribe button. And what else did they need to hit? <laughs> You know what I'm saying, man? Get us to 3 million. We on the road to 3 million subscribers, man. We appreciate you guys. Make sure y'all put God first. We love you guys. Thank y'all for holding us down. Until the next video, we out. Peace. They always show me love because it's my family.